Hey everyone, and welcome to my famous course, the Complete Splunk Beginner Course, here on Udemy and Udemy for Business. This course is by far the most popular Splunk course on Udemy, Udemy for Business, and as far as I can tell, anywhere else on the internet. That's because of students like you, and so if you've already enrolled in this class, I sincerely thank you. If you're thinking about enrolling in this class, Please know that I've spent a lot of time creating captivating slides, talking head videos, demos, quizzes, and homework. I regularly update the course as Splunk updates their product. And here's some obligatory information about me. I hold a Master of Science in Information Systems. I'm a Splunk Certified Administrator. I'm a University Lecturer. And of course, I'm an online course author and I've held multiple different senior tech leadership positions within various organizations. My goal is to help you be successful in this course, and so I have a couple of key things that you need to be aware of. To be successful in this course, there are four parts. I recommend you Splunk every day. That means practice, practice, practice. Commit to five minutes of this class every day. I know it's hard to commit to a long session of training material, especially if you are already working full time. But if you can just give me five minutes per day, you will be well on your way to being successful in this class. Don't move on to the next section until you pass the current sections quiz with 100%. I've carefully crafted the quiz questions so that they are an accurate representation of what you've learned. And then of course, follow along with the demos. We will be installing Splunk and doing Splunk demos throughout the course, and I do recommend you follow along. We will provide resources for your success as well, including downloadable slides, homework and quizzes, and the greatest resource of all, of course, is the official Splunk documentation, as well as Splunk Answers, located at answers.splunk.com. There, a bunch of Splunk pros hang out and sit there all day and answer questions, so please feel free to ask questions there. And remember that rating courses is very helpful to instructors, so please take a minute to rate this course. And if you're ready, let's get started. I'm excited to have you on board. Hidden in your organization's data is a goldmine of useful, actionable knowledge. Splunk takes this data, any type of data, unstructured, structured, machine-generated, human-generated, all of it, and allows you to create real value from that data in the form of rich reports, live dashboards, and triggered alerts. Consider a typical modern organization. It might have some assets in various cloud providers, perhaps Office 365 with Azure Active Directory, and maybe a few other Azure services. It might have some big data solutions built out in GCP, and some infrastructure in AWS. It likely also has on-premises assets like laptops, desktops, physical servers, physical storage, networking gear, and so on. Each and every one of these items, indeed every single machine, knows and can log exactly what happens to it at any given moment. It logs incoming requests, outgoing messages, users and other systems with which it interacts, actions it takes, and much, much more. Anyone who has sifted through a log file export knows what I'm talking about. But what generally happens to all this data? it gets dumped into a veritable black hole. Nobody looks at it or cares about it, that is until there's a problem. Then, IT pros like us are left with manually searching through tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and sometimes even millions of log entries trying to investigate the situation. Friends, there's a better way. With Splunk, we can set up a system to capture this data clean it, format it, transform it, and make it sing with live dashboards, rich reports, and triggered alerts. Typical data generated by machines, and by machines I of course mean systems of any kind, cloud or on-premises, containers or virtual or physical servers, vehicles and IoT devices, and many more. 
the data they generate is cryptic. That is to say, it's not human friendly. It looks similar to this. We can train Splunk to look for certain patterns in the data called regular expressions and then label those patterns as fields. We can then take those fields and build intelligence systems that show us the data in an understandable way. And that's what this class is all about. Can you imagine how valuable someone with this skill set is in the workforce? Welcome back. When learning a new technology, even if you are a tech genius, sometimes we all need help. And for this course, I want to make sure that you know where to go to get that help. For questions directly related to the course, use the course Q&A, where myself and other members of this course's community can help you with your question. For anything outside of this course, and although I'd love to help you on your individual Splunk projects, I simply don't have the time, please visit answers.splunk.com. This is for Splunk questions of all levels, and Splunk pros and employees, as well as other users, hang out there. I've almost always gotten an answer to any of my Splunk questions within a few hours, and it's never gone over 24 hours. So answers.splunk.com is a great resource. Take a look at the Splunk documentation at docs.splunk.com. Splunk has a robust set of documentation. It's always updated, and there's lots of it. And I must say, it's pretty easy to follow as well. I have a couple of recommended books. This one's called Exploring Splunk, and it is free on the Splunk website. We have some more advanced books here, like Building Splunk Solutions and Big Data Analytics Using Splunk. I would recommend these books later on in your Splunk career when you are more intermediate, so perhaps after this course. Also on the Splunk website, they have dozens of free ebooks that you can download and take a look at. Thanks for joining me in this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.